Patrick, what do you think of that premise, uh, that this is about the president using two people who he loves to make the face of the Democratic Party because it helps divide us and them? You can't get luckier than this. Why is because it lucky that they're Muslim election, and brown? Because... No, Chris, not now. Come on. Not, not at all. This has to do with come the on. fact I mean, that's the only thing that, that seems far obvious left to me. What's obvious? Things that these no, Chris, it's not obvious to you because you're an ideological con man who pretends to be a journalist. It's obvious to anybody watching this community theater that you and the hate monger sitting next to you are just running cover for the most extreme members of the Democrat Party. They all support Islamic extremists. They all support socialism and reject capitalism. Or how about their support for BDS, which even the far left Bill Maher said is a huge mistake. The common factor with the squad is that they're all far left extremists who are a threat to the constitution and our rights. That's what I and millions of other Americans see in the squad. It has absolutely nothing to do with their skin color. The right clearly has no love for people like Elizabeth Warren or Hillary Clinton who are both white. This is all just the familiar media DNC tactic of deflecting criticism by using skin color or religion as a shield. Patrick, the idea of whom they he's picking, time. whom he's picking. There are a lot of Democrats who believe the kinds of things that these two do. They just don't look like them. <laughs> Chris, it, it, we're back to this identity politics. This is the worst kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> Strap yourselves in. We're entering another CNN manufactured alternate reality vortex. Tell me, Fredo, which Democrat hasn't Trump attacked? Any Democrat that's come after Trump, Trump has attacked in response, and no matter what color they are. Of course, Chris Cuomo provides zero evidence to back up his claims, which is probably because it's so easily debunked. Trump's got a nickname for just about every single prominent Democrat out there, and maybe even every Democrat. He calls Joe Biden Sleepy Joe or Swamp Man Joe. He calls Bloomberg Little Michael. He used to call Jeb Bush Low Energy Jeb. And he calls Butt Cake Ralphert E. Newman. He's got about a dozen nicknames for James Comey, who is a white male. The point is, his attacks on white male Democrats goes on and on and on. Chris Cuomo is full of shit. It has everything to do with the fact that they are supporting uh, terrorist organizations in Israel. Uh, but nobody even knew what the BDS was before we started hearing oh about all this stuff. This isn't about Let's terrorism. talk about terrorism. This is about Let's the talk fact about terrorism. That these you know who the four greatest women, terrorists are in this country? Particularly these two have taken over the Democratic Party, hijacked it from their own speaker. Uh-oh, CNN's resident hate monger Angela Ray is making crazy faces, which must mean that she disagrees with something that guy said. Although, I'm not sure what that could possibly be because everything he said is accurate. The squad openly supports Palestinian terrorism, and they support a government that wants to wipe Israel off the map and has no desire for peace. Think they've that taken it so over, Angela? That is so interesting. It's so interesting that you use the term for the two, the only two Muslim women in Congress. The term you chose to use, nothing to do sir, with whether they're Muslim hijacking. or not, Angela. Oh, really? Nothing you to chose do with that. to use Absolutely the not. term hijacking. What? Angela, you're digging now. You're going to take issue with the term hijacking when you, Democrats, and CNN have been using that term to attack Republicans going all the way back to the Bush years. Anytime we're on the verge of a government shutdown, the media always accuses the Republicans of hijacking the country. Back when Obama was president and these conflicts over funding would arise, the media would always paint Republicans as suicide bombers willing to blow up the government rather than compromise. Oh, but these Democrats are hallowed people of color and Muslims, which means that they're immune from all criticisms and hyperbole. This is the goal of the left and their media, to stop all opposition and dissent by simply making themselves above criticism. You can and talk that's one over me all you want to, but the bottom Donald line Trump is the greatest the terrorist He's a lucky in guy. this country are white men. White men who think like you. That is <laughs> yes, the greatest terrorist you're right. threat in you're this country. You're absolutely right. It's all because of guys like me. That's silly rhetoric. Did she just say that the greatest terrorist group in this country are white men? How is that not insanely racist? And yet Fredo just sits there without batting an eyelash. Call him Fredo and he goes berserk, but accuse an entire race of people of being a terrorist group and he doesn't even care. There have been a few examples of white men specifically targeting people for their skin color or their religion. And I would say, yes, those people are terrorists, but they're incredibly rare. Given that white men are the majority in this country, we are way underrepresented in violent crime and murder.
And in fact, black men kill way more white people than the other way around. The same goes for mass shootings, which are extremely common in cities like Baltimore or Chicago, and yet those are never counted as mass shootings for some odd reason. They just aren't covered or counted the same way because quite frankly, it debunks their narrative. You gotta ask yourself, why does CNN put this hate-filled racist on TV? And the answer should be self-evident. She incites a great deal of hatred and paranoia of her political opposition. Ironic, since that's exactly what CNN CNN is constantly accusing Trump of. That's all I got for you today, folks. Thank you so much to my Patreon and Subscribestar subscribers. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to continue doing this.